Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So let's begin with your love reading. Before we begin, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could be dealing with any of these signs. So this is a card of looking at how much you've put and invested into something and really wondering if things are going to work out here, if this is worth investing in. So you may have really put in a lot of love and energy and care into something and you may feel like you're not getting much in return for it um, however with this card this is more of a slow progress so things are actually working out here things are just moving slower than what you expect and i do see this being fruitful um, your efforts and your um you know your, your the pouring out of your energy and your love it's not in vain here this person does have feelings for you they do care for you i do see a very slow progression however when it comes to this connection but i do see it working out so there is a lot of love here so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this aries so the first card we have here is the ace of swords air energy gemini libra aquarius energy next we have the page of pentacles earth energy virgo taurus capricorn and finally we have the magician okay so this there is a turn of events here things are going to start picking up with that magician card i do see something coming to fruition you feeling more empowered in this connection and i do see this person speaking some sort of truth to you you're finally going to get answers clarity here with that um, ace of swords this is a truth being revealed there is a lot of love here and i do see you know you finally getting some sort of news about this connection that is going to make you feel very empowered and move things forward quickly for you and with that page of pentacles i see this person returning you know you're finally going to get that return of investment that you've put into this connection the love the care the um, time the effort that you've put in i see this person giving back to it with this page of pentacles here yeah, this is a card of them putting in a lot of efforts trying to show you that they care and putting their best foot forward to make this work so i do see that for you aries there is a lot of love here and i see things picking up here so something that you've been manifesting is also coming to fruition here and there is a victory here as well with that ace of swords there is um a truth coming here being revealed and you're getting answers so i see good news for you aries that's what i have for you here bye aries hi taurus welcome to your love reading my name is pretty and i'll be doing your love reading today so before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. So at the bottom of the deck we have the three of pentacles so this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn you could be dealing with any of these signs so this is a card of collaboration working together with something trying with someone trying to work things out on a situation and this could be you connecting with someone who you um may have known from work or from the workplace or they may be in a um a similar field as you in terms of work but there is also a lot of um collaborative energy here between you and this person 
um, you may be working on this connection um, this person may have the desire to really build something solid with you and I do see them wanting something stable and something long-lasting for the long term um, and I do see this this can also signal a person viewing you as someone that they wouldn't mind marrying and you know being in a long-term commitment with some you know someone really ready to put in the efforts and to focus and to to be very detailed with their approach in this connection so this is very much putting in that effort and time and working together as a team as well i do see a very collaborative energy here this person you and this person may be very compatible and work well together so um let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this taurus Okay, so the first card we have here is the Knight of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Next, we have the High Priestess. This is Pisces or Cancer Energy. And finally, we have the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Okay, so there is a very fiery energy here with this Knight of Wands. This is um, a spark. You may be dealing with someone who is... Um, very well grounded in terms of this person they are they know how to you know balance work and play so that knight of wands it makes them very passionate fiery um, free-spirited energy as well this is a fun person this is an exciting lover um, this person at the same time they've got this um, desire to collaborate and to work on things with you and i do see this person making an offer something very solid and long term with that ace of pentacles this is someone who um, is ready to settle down ready to be serious and to commit here with that ace of pentacles energy and that three of pentacles energy so in the past this person may have been a bit um you know in and out um very carefree and um more so about the passion and the fun and the heart and heaviness but i'm seeing this person wanting now to have something more grounded and stable with you this person views you as their grounding force as well and i do see this as being a very um, intuitive connection as well with that high priestess energy you and this person have this um, you know this tie towards each other and there is an intuitive understanding and mutual love and respect for each other so I do see that you and this person you may not be very much the same in terms of this person is showing up as being a bit more um, you know fiery passionate and um, free spirited and spontaneous and you're very much more of a grounding force in this person's life so there is you guys complement each other in that way that this person they bring a lot of excitement to the connection and you also bring that grounding energy because um, this person sometimes they need that in their life and I do see them viewing you as a source of stability and um, you know someone who keeps them level-headed and you know down to earth and this is also a very spiritual and intuitive deep intense connection with that high priestess energy so this person views you as this high priestess energy they are very attracted to your you know nurturing and down-to-earth qualities as well as your spiritual side so that's what i'm seeing for you taurus i hope you have a really good day taurus bye taurus hi gemini welcome to your love reading my name is pretty and i'll be doing your love reading today so before you begin with your love reading please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not okay so let's begin with your love reading gemini Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of wands 
So this is fire energy. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or even a Leo with this energy. This is a card of um, you putting up boundaries around a situation, feeling the need to protect yourself and to defend yourself as well. Um, this may have been a very... Um, a situation where you feel as if you've, you've been putting in a lot of effort and you're reaching a point of feeling a bit depleted, you know, exhausted. This is the card of the wounded warrior. So you're nearing the end of this journey, but feeling that you cannot continue with this. Um, there's almost a, a heaviness, a one-sidedness to this connection where you may feel as if you know it's taking up a lot of effort from your part and um i do see you feeling the need to really communicate a need of um boundaries with this person wanting this person to meet you halfway and also an energy of overthinking so you may be feeling a bit um stressed out about this connection something about this person or what they're doing is very much worrying or concerning to you and i do see you um feeling the need to um protect yourself in some way by putting up some sort of boundaries when it comes to this connection so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this gemini so the first card we have here is the judgment card so this is scorpio energy libra energy next we have the nine of cups water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy and finally we have the eight of wands fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy okay so i do see that um you're making some sort of important decision um you may have been um you know not speaking up for yourself in this connection you may have been going very much with the flow but it's almost as if there is an energy of suffering in silence enduring going through um a situation that's actually very depleting and putting in a lot of effort and energy and feeling like you know you're reaching a point of exhaustion with that and with that judgment card this is you finally now speaking up about something um there there may be something that you were hoping to get out of this um, situation but that you still feel you haven't yet received that and as a result um you you may have been just going with the flow for a while but i do see you now speaking up for something wanting something and making it known now making your intentions more clearly known with that judgment card and i do see that you you're you're getting what you want with that nine of cups this is a fulfillment this is a wish come true i do see you getting what you want and things finally now being able to move forward in a more um satisfying um direction for you that eight of wands is also some good news coming your way um you're finally receiving um some sort of communication that you really want that's going to catalyze things for you and i do see a lot of emotional fulfillment as well with that nine of cups that is very happy satisfactory energy and a wish fulfillment so i see you getting what you want in this situation after um a, a period of having not really spoken up about your needs or your wants you're finally expressing your truth and i do see that working out favorably for you you're getting what you want and things are going to move forward the eight of wands is also back and forth communication you may be getting some um, passionate um, communication back and forth with this person and i do see it being very favorable and fulfilling for you so that's what i'm seeing for you gemini i hope you have a really really good day bye gemini hi cancer welcome to your love reading my name is pretty and i'll be doing your love reading today so before we begin with your love reading cancer please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not okay so let's begin with your love reading cancer Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the star card. So this is Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius with this card. 
So this is a card of um, wish fulfillment. Some sort of wish is coming true here. It's um, You could expect a miracle with this card here. This is really good news coming your way. Finally getting something that you really have been manifesting and hoping for. This is a card reminding you to stay optimistic and to not lose faith. Something that you've been wanting for a long time is finally coming to fruition and I do see a lot of fulfillment here with this energy and I see a lot of happiness whatever this is it's it's that wish come true it's going to make you very happy and um, I do see healing energy here as well so you may be healing something from the past or healing whatever hurts or pains that you may be feeling right now emotionally I see that um, you're in a healing process and you're also manifesting some sort of wish fulfillment some something is coming to fruition here for you so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this cancer so the first card we have here is the eight of swords in the reverse so this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy next we have the four of swords air energy again gemini libra aquarius energy and finally we have the two of cups this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy okay so there is that energy of you being in a place of needing healing, um, you know, needing to prioritize your um, your um, self care, you know, being more loving towards yourself. I do see that you may have gone through a phase or a period where you were really in a place where you were battling. It's almost an internal battle here, yeah, mental conflict. You may have been. Fighting against yourself is what it feels like. There may have been a lot of anxiety, feeling trapped and like you cannot move in a situation, feeling stuck and, un, you know, um, feeling like you're not free with that Eight of Swords. But now that this Eight of Swords is in the reverse here, I do see you having come out of that situation. So whatever that was that was feel leaving you feeling trapped or stuck, you're overcoming it. And with the Four of Swords, this is a reminder to, to nurture yourself, to give yourself that love and to not burn yourself out, you know. This is reminding you to prioritize self-care and self-love and to give yourself time. Don't rush yourself and be nurturing to yourself and don't lose faith or hope. There is um, something really good here about to come to fruition for you and you can relax now. Um, with that Four of Swords, this is reminding you to rest and to take it easy. Um, don't be anxious about your love life because there is some, it's finally something is is about to happen here for you with that star card something that you've been wishing for a long time that you may have even given up on it's finally coming to fruition and with that two of cups that is a soulmate energy that is a divine union um this could be your other half finally coming into your life or you may have already met this person and things are just getting to that new level where there is this mutual love energy you guys are connecting on a new level there is um you know a very intense connection here there is that soulmates connection and i do see this person really complimenting you and um balancing you out this is your other half and this is going to really heal you this is that type of love that's very restorative and powerful and you guys are um mutual and balanced with this there's a lot of harmony in this connection and i see a very compatible energy between you and this person so i do see that finally happening for you, happening for you cancer so i hope you have a really good day cancer bye cancer Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Leo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles energy. This is Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with any of these signs. 
So uh, this is um, showing up as someone who's very um, well off. This could be a very well um, wealthy person or financially stable person. This is someone who, you know, is very powerful. And I do see this person as being very supportive towards you. So this person has a lot to offer. This is a potential suitor here for you. And I do see this person being very interested in you and ready to really invest in this connection with you. And I see them having a lot of love for you. Um, Leo so this is someone who's very resourced and stable um, this person can be a bit stoic and um, moves very slowly they move at their own pace but this this is someone who's capable of commitment and who is reliable this is someone who you know who has a lot to offer and is viewed as a very much um, an ideal partner this is someone who a lot of people recognize as being a catch this is someone who's you know um, very they can be very well accomplished, this person. And they're very grounded, practical, and stable is what I'm seeing with this person. So they have a lot of earth energy um, qualities. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Leo. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Page of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Next, we have the Magician. This is Gemini. Aquarius Aries energy and finally we have the page of cups so this is water energy cancer Pisces Scorpio energy okay so I do see this person being very interested in you they have a lot of love for you and um, this person they may be a little bit um, stoic this is someone who's not very um, um, they're more of a doer than they are a talker so they, they you know that page of cups is usually someone who's very um charming and good at their words this person they'll show you more than they'll tell you this is someone who likes to put action you know when they want something they, they'll show you with their actions and i do see them having a lot of love for you very infatuated with you and attracted to you with that page of cups this person thinks you're very beautiful inside and outside with that page of cups um they're not used to um expressing their feelings very much so this person they may um they may be a bit clumsy with um communicating their feelings but you'll see by their um actions how much they care for you this is someone who's going to really shower you with affection um spoil you even with um you know material things this is someone who's very well off and resourced and i see them being also very supportive of you so you'll recognize them by that this is someone this is someone who has a lot to offer and they're going to put their best foot forward with that page of pentacles this is them trying very hard to impress you and to to really learn you so that they know how to love you this is someone who is not um gonna cut corners this is someone who tries their best and i see them going the extra mile to you know um win you over and to woo you so with that magician card this could be a love that you've manifested um this is going to be a very empowering connection as well this person is going to love you to the point where they can help you recognize just how amazing you are this person they've got pure intentions is what i'm seeing here and um they they're going to really um hold you high like in high regards and i do see them giving you a lot of love and um, as, as a result, you're also going to come out feeling very empowered with, by this connection. Something about this person's presence may make you feel even more confident. This person has a way of, you know, you know, really loving you and making you feel cared for. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Leo. Hope you have a really good day, Leo. Bye, Leo. Hi, Virgo. Welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Virgo. So at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of cups so this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy you could be dealing with any of these signs 
So this is a lot of emotional fulfillment here. This is you getting something that you really do want. This is um, happiness from getting some, some sort of wish being granted, emotional fulfillment here. And you're showing up as very emotionally independent and a lot of self-love here, cultivating self-love energy with this card here. So I am seeing you being very attractive at this time and also very emotionally independent. And this is making you even more attractive. You're very, um, you're, you're in a place of a lot of cultivating self-love is what I'm seeing with that. So there is something that's coming to fruition here, a wish being granted here and I'm seeing a lot of happiness and joy here for you. So this is a lot of fulfillment for you, a lot of abundant energy, Virgo. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Virgo. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Sun card. So this is Leo energy. Next we have the Five of Swords, Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And finally we have the Nine of Pentacles, Earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So I'm seeing you very happy at this time, happy within yourself and very independent energy as well. With that nine of pentacles and that nine of cups, there is self-sufficiency here, emotional um, independence and really loving yourself and nurturing yourself. That sun card is your um, inner child also being, you know, loved and cared for. I see a lot of self-care on your part and um, a lot of abundance energy. You may be doing very well in your career, your um, personal journey, you know, how you view yourself, your self-esteem, your self-worth. It's all looking very good at this time. And this can come after you walking away from a situation where there was a lot of conflict and um, fighting disagreements with that five of swords. This is you withdrawing from anything that robs you of your peace and choosing yourself, you know, choosing to love yourself and to care for yourself and you're very attractive at this time a lot of people are drawn to your lights right now you're radiating you're glowing is what it's showing here and there is just a lot of abundant energy for you there's um fulfillment um on the 3d realm and on the emotional level as well so i am seeing you being very something is giving you more energy you're being revitalized and a lot of self-love and self-care here so I am seeing there may have been some sort of conflict between you and someone. I see you walking away from that and putting yourself first and a lot of joy is coming as a result of that. So you're feeling free and happy and whole again. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo. Hi, Libra. Welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your live reading Libra, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your live reading Libra. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. This is a very um, happy, emotionally fulfilling energy here. This is that happily ever after. Someone may be viewing you as someone that they could see themselves having this happily ever after with. They could see themselves settling down with and having a family with. So I am seeing a lot of fulfillment here with this card. Um, there is, this is, um, you know, that ultimate end all energy, a completion here of a card. So I am seeing someone viewing you as, you know, someone they could be a life partner with. There is a lot of love here. So let's um, see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Libra. So the first card we have here is the Knight of Pentacles. This is Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Next, we have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And finally, we have the Ace of Swords, again, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so I do see that this is someone who has been moving things a bit slowly so far, but I do see them finally coming in with an offer with that Knight of Pentacles energy. This is them finally arriving after a long time. 
you may have been dealing with this person for a while and have been waiting for this person to commit and to you know make this offer they're finally ready to make this offer with you and the knight of pentacles is the slowest um, knight but it's because it's the most solid what they're offering here is commitment it's something you can count on something reliable and this person is ready they finally they want this ten of cups with you they see you as their ten of cups and i do see that now things are finally picking up pace with that knight of swords things are finally progressing things you know um after things had been moving quite slowly you may have started to doubt or wonder if things are ever gonna you know pick up here now this person is ready to move things forward and i see things now starting to you know really ramp up the speed that things are really picking up here and with that ace of swords this is them coming forward and declaring their truth to you even with that knight of swords that is again truth them giving you answers you're finally they're finally opening up they're they're going to be very emotionally honest and um i don't i see them wearing their hearts on their sleeve they're finally ready and i see this person offering you commitments they want this happily ever after with you this person wants something very serious and for the long haul with you so that's what i'm seeing for you um libra this person is finally ready to let you know how they feel and um, ultimately, I do see them seeing this as they want this victory with you. That Ace of Swords is also a card of success and victory. And I do see them viewing you as that. This person holds you in very high regard. They see you as someone um, that they want to settle down with, you know, a life partner. And um, they may have, they, they've had a lot of time to think about this. This is not a, a rushed decision. This is something that's, you know, this person has been wanting for a while now and they're finally ready to commit and to let it be known so i am seeing a lot of truth a very open heart-to-heart -heart conversation happening here about the potential for a commitment here so it's on the table here and that's what i'm seeing for you libra i hope you have a really good day libra bye libra hi scorpio welcome to your love reading my name is pretty and i'll be doing your love reading today so before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of having felt trapped or stuck or um, incapable of moving something forward. Something may, the situation may have been leaving you feeling very anxious and, um, you know, not free, feeling very incapable. But this is very much mental conflict. This is something in the mind that was really getting in you, the mind was really getting in your way here. This is self sabotage. This is a fear, you know, deep inner fears, limiting beliefs that were perhaps holding you back. But with this card being in the reverse, this is you, um, you know, starting to see the truth of a situation, starting to see things more clearly, seeing your power, taking back your power. And I do see that you're finally starting to feel free again. You're starting to feel more capable and um, this, your anxiety may be subsiding about a situation. Some sort of a news or a truth is being um, exposed to you that can really allow you to take back your power and to recognize that you've always been powerful in the situation you were never stuck this was just the mind playing tricks on you um you know something was affecting you mentally but in the real realm on, on you know on this 3d realm you were always powerful so this is you taking back your power so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this scorpio so the first card we have here is the night the nine of swords air energy gemini libra aquarius energy Next, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. And finally, we have the Ten of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is, again, something was really robbing you of your peace. 
making you feel stressed out and anxious overthinking and it, it's definitely a mental um problem here like um you may have been very much stuck in your head about a situation it was giving you a lot of um, anxiety stress lack of sleep um overthinking about the situation but with this nine of pentacles this um, this queen of pentacles this is you taking back your power recognizing your worth and um you know it's embodying that um you know standing in your power again feeling more um grounded with this queen of pentacles energy and i see this coming as a result of dropping some sort of a burden something was becoming too heavy for you um there may have been a situation that left you feeling like you always had to prove yourself um someone may have never been satisfied in a connection and they may have not recognized your worth and this could have left you feeling you know almost left you also not seeing your worth but with this queen of pentacles i see you getting back on your throne and you coming back into your own and recognizing who you are and this is very attractive you're very attractive at this time people see your worth even people who pretend like they don't see it they see it you are this queen of pentacles energy people are drawn to your light and i do see that you may have been dealing with someone who may have made a, you know a power play a power move of trying to make you feel as if they don't recognize your worth but this person sees you for who you truly are this person they may have even felt intimidated by you and as a result they may have belittled you or you know overlooked you or made you to feel like you have to prove yourself so that they could feel adequate so i do see that you're dropping this burden that 10 of wands 10 cards are um, signs of completion so i see you dropping that burden and embodying this power again you know empowering yourself with this queen of pentacles energy and leaving behind anyone who forces you to have to prove yourself to them to them because you know your worth and you don't have to prove yourself to anyone so i do see that you're stepping back on your throne you're listening to your intuition as well with that queen of pentacles you're this this is a very you're very attractive with this queen of pentacles energy a lot of people recognize this and the queen of pentacles is also viewed as someone who's the ideal mate the ideal partner you're intuitive you've got your life in order you've got a lot of resources you've got a lot to offer and people recognize this and i do see people being drawn towards your light and your mind um you're getting mental clarity here again you're being ground feeling grounded again stepping back into your own and feeling empowered after letting go of some sort of baggage here yeah, with that ten of wands this is the ending a journey of you not feeling good enough that phase is coming to a close here and i see this next chapter of you being in this queen of pentacles energy you know really taking care of yourself this is also self-care self-love you know nurturing yourself and being more kind and um compassionate towards yourself because at that eight of swords card this is also kind of being too hard on yourself so i do see you recognizing your 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 worth and um acting in a way that shows that you know your worth so that's what i'm seeing for you scorpio i hope you have a really really good day scorpio hi scorpio hi sagittarius welcome to your love reading my name is pretty and i'll be doing your love reading today so before we begin with your love reading sagittarius please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not okay so let's begin with your love reading sagittarius Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a card of having a lot of options to choose from and not being sure of which option is a good option. So there's a lot of options here, but they're not all good options. So it's very important to decipher and to um, really pay attention to these options. Um, you don't want to um, overlook anything. And they, this could also be a card of feeling confused. 
you know, having a lot to choose from, but not being sure of what's real and what's not. So I do see you having to really um, focus and um, listen to your inner voice, you know, because you will know which one you feel more called towards. And um, I do see you having to make a decision between all of these options. And this is also slightly chaotic energy, confusion, you know, um, not being sure about which is the right one to go with. But there can also be some illusions here as well. So it's very important to decipher and to pay close attention here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about the Sagittarius. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Next, we have the Page of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And finally, we have the Eight, the Six of Swords, sorry, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so there is a strong connection here with the Lovers card. So this person that you're dealing with, they may be the one who has a lot of options. Um, there is a sense of uh, you being very connected to this person. The, there is an intense um, soulmate connection with that lover's card. But also, there is decisions that need to be made about this connection. Um, this is reaching a crossroads. You may be um, approaching a, um, a point in the connection where you would like things to be more exclusive with this person. And I do see you studying this person, trying to understand and investigate. Um, you know, this could also be them investigating you. There is an energy here of both of you thinking or feeling like the other person has a lot of options. And so with that page of swords, this is a lot of researching and, you know, digging, trying to understand, is there um, someone else, that type of energy here. So I do see this person is also um, feeling like you have other options. And as a result, they're also doing their research and digging, trying to find out here. Yeah, this could be a long distance connection with that six of swords energy. Um, but there, this is also an energy of moving away from a chaotic situation. So this could be you moving away from, you know, dropping all of these options and choosing one person. And this person would be this mo the most intense, um, the most, the person who you feel most drawn to, the most, um, the strongest connection with that lover's card. So this could be you dropping your options for this person or this person dropping their options for you. So leaving behind that chaotic and confusing energy because there is a lot of confusion when it comes to that seven of cups. There's no peace there. There is a lot of options, but there is no fulfillment, you know, um, and with the six of swords, this is moving away from that and moving to calmer waters. And the calmer waters is this mutual love, you know, this intense, soulmate connection where you know it's like you're cared for you're nurtured you're fulfilled emotionally so i do see someone leaving behind options options that were just very confusing because not all of those options are good for you not all of those options were good for this person and this person they just want one person now there is this energy of things becoming more exclusive leaving behind that confusing and you know almost like the seven of cups was a distraction so with that six of swords this is leaving behind that um confusing energy and moving towards a more exclusive love so that's what i see for you sagittarius i hope you have a really good day sagittarius bye sagittarius Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Capricorn, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Capricorn. at the bottom of the deck we have the page of cups this is water energy cancer pisces scorpio energy so 
You could be connecting with any of these signs. This is a card of an admirer. Somebody is very infatuated by you. They have. This is like um, a person having a crush on you. This could be someone who's younger than you or just someone who's not very experienced with being emotionally expressive or um, who's not very you know, emotional or used to um, wearing their heart on their sleeve. But this person is very attracted to you. This is a card of them viewing you as beautiful on the inside and the outside and being very taken and drawn towards you. This person holds you in very high regard. They think very highly of you. And I am seeing this person, um, you know, wanting to romance you, coming forward and wanting to express their feelings to you and being very emotionally honest and just pouring out their hearts, wearing their heart on their sleeve with you. So this person may be very charming. They may um, make some sort of a romantic gesture towards you, offering you their cup of love. This person is, you know, very smitten by you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Capricorn. So the first card we have here is the Two of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Next we have the Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And finally we have the Six of Pentacles, Earth Energy again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So I see this person coming towards you. This is a very generous person. They're going to give a lot to this. this. This person is very interested in you. And I see them, you know, being very generous with their resources, time, energy, love, and, you know, giving you their hearts, really. And um, seeing you as this Queen of Swords. So you may not... Um, make this very easy for this person this person holds you in very high regards but with this queen of swords energy this can be a cold energy this could be you being a bit detached so you may come across as a bit detached to this person and this person doesn't mind they're willing to really work for this they they have very strong emotions towards you so the queen of swords is also a queen who doesn't take any nonsense from anybody so you are um i see you being very logical with this person um, you're not going to fall for the sweet talk. You're going to be very um, direct is what it's showing here as and um, almost aloof and detached with that Queen of Swords energy, but also very direct and um, blunt. The Queen of Swords can be a bit intimidating. This person may feel a bit intimidated, but ultimately I don't see that stopping this person. I still see them coming towards you and offering you um, their cup of love and... Um, giving a lot to this connection this is a very generous person um when they love something they give a lot to it and with that two of pentacles energy this is you having to decide if you are open to this or not this is you having to make that decision um, i see that there is a need for balance between um, being logical and um, emotional you're showing up as being very very logical at this time or operating more so from um, the mind um, energy i do see you taking time to think about this you may even um not entertain this person you you know this queen of swords here she has her back to um that page of cups so you may dismiss this person at first glance um but i do see you thinking about it as well with that two of pentacles so i am seeing that this person they're really taking a chance here. They they see you as um, you know almost out of their league. They think very highly of you, but they're still coming towards you. This person is very taken by you and captured by you. So with that two of pentacles energy, this um, is again thinking energy. This could be um, you, you know, not being sure, weighing the pros and the cons of this. But I do see this person being very generous and sweet to you. This person genuinely has you know feelings towards you and just simply admires you is what i'm seeing here so that's what i'm seeing for you capricorn i hope you have a really good day capricorn bye capricorn hi aquarius welcome to your love reading my name is pretty and i'll be doing your love reading today so before we begin with your love reading aquarius please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not okay so let's begin with your love reading aquarius
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. So this is air energy. You could be dealing with another Aquarius, Libra, or even a Gemini with this energy. So this is a card of withdrawing from conflict. Um, there may be some sort of verbal altercation between you and someone, or you and someone just may not see eye to eye. There may have been just a lot of disagreements, fighting, and um, this is you, you know, having had enough, things have gone too far in this situation. Um, you're wanting to hold back, you know, withdraw your energy from this. There is nothing but drama here and I see you not wanting to continue with that anymore. This is a card of, you know, dropping the swords and letting, you know, letting sleeping dogs lie, leaving this conflicting situation here. This person very much so wants you to engage and to acknowledge and to fight back with them and to, you know, give them energy. But I see you not doing that. I see you being tired of this. And I do see you ignoring this person who's trying very hard to bait you into conflict. But you're, you're not giving this person your energy and this is making this person even more upset. You know, this is making them want, you know, this person it's almost as if they enjoy fighting they enjoy the drama but i see you not giving them what they want here you're you 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 seem to value your peace of mind and i see you withdrawing from this and no longer engaging in the conflict here so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say here aquarius so the first card we have here is the nine of swords so this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy Next, you have the Ten of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. And finally, we have the Five of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so I do see you walking away and dropping a heavy burden with that Ten of Wands. Um, this, this was a situation that really was depleting and robbed you a lot of your peace of mind. Um, however, I don't see you showing this person how um, upset or hurt you are by this situation. So this person may feel as if you don't care. Um, however, I do see you just simply choosing your peace of mind and protecting yourself and walking away from this. You know, um, the Ten of Wands is a card of exhaustion. This is becoming heavy and burdensome. And I do see that you're moving away with a heavy heart here withdrawing from this person and this person also feels this this person they want to stay connected to you um but for some reason this person seems to have a very distorted view of you know love they feel that you know conflict is necessary to keep things going this person likes drama and um I do see this being a difficult decision with that nine of swords. This is you overthinking. Um, this is really robbing you of your peace of mind. And this is why I see you putting yourself for, um, first here and just moving forward here. It does feel like a loss, an emotional loss. With that five of cups, I do see you being hurt by the situation. And um, I do see that, you know, you're ultimately still moving forward. Um, there's still a grieving energy here as well, though. I do see that it's going to take some time to get over this. Um, there is some hurt here. And this is on both parts. This person feels the same way that you do. This person feels like this is a major loss. With that Five of Cups, this person really has a lot of love for you. And I do see them having some regrets about the things that they may have said or the fights that you guys may have had. Some sort of disagreements, major um, falling out here. Um, they have really, they regret um, that and they have a lot of hurt over this. This person, I do see them having remorse and it may take a while, but I do see this person coming back around wanting closure or wanting to work things out. Um, this person didn't expect you to leave and it really hurt them when you did. Um, you know, even if you just simply withdrew from the conflict, this person perceives it as if you are leaving them. Um, with that Ten of Wands, this is you dropping a heavy burden. So I do see you no longer engaging in um, the drama, the conflict, the chaos. And this person, they feel like you're abandoning them with that Five of Cups as well. So I do see a, a, a mourning period here. But things will get better as well. That Ten of Wands is the card of completion. So this heaviness, this phase of drama, of chaos, conflict, it's coming to a close here. So I do see a new chapter on the horizon for you. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Aquarius. I hope you have a really good day, Aquarius. Bye, Aquarius. Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. 
So before we begin with your love reading Pisces, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Pisces. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the Hermit card. So this is Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This is a card of going within and doing a lot of introspection. You may be um, working on yourself and trying to really um, heal from something. And this is also a card of you withdrawing from someone or from a situation, or from people, and really just focusing more on self and um, developing yourself and healing so you may be withdrawing from someone or situation as well with this card um, you know this is also the card of taking the high road um, being the bigger person and maturing you know focusing on you know maturing and being that wise person learning from your lessons that you've encountered and this is you really um, ascending this is you evolving very much maturing energy so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this pisces okay so the first card we have here is the eight of pentacles this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy next we have the five of pentacles earth energy again virgo taurus capricorn and finally we have the ten of swords air energy gemini libra aquarius energy Okay, so there may have been some sort of very painful ending with that Ten of Swords. Something, there may have been some sort of betrayal, some sort of a loss. Um, you may have not seen something coming and it may have been very painful, devastating as well with that Ten of Swords. However, the Ten of Swords is again a 10 as a completion energy. So the worst that could happen has happened here. This is you coming out resilience, you know, picking yourself up from that situation. That Five of Pentacles next to the Ten of Swords shows that there may have been some sort of a loss here. Someone may have abandoned you or you may have felt abandoned in a situation. This is a card of lack, feeling like there's no love here. Someone may have, um, you know, left you out in the cold with that Five of Pentacles energy. And you really had to be more resilient. And I do see you picking yourself up from that situation and taking time now to heal. With that Hermit card, I see you going within and introspecting, trying to understand if, you know, what part you may have played in that situation and, you know, how, how you can really learn from this. This Hermit card is a card of learning from your lessons and I see you doing a lot of introspection here. And that Eight of Pentacles is also a card of, you know, empowering yourself, trying to understand yourself better, working on yourself and um, putting in a lot of, dedicating a lot of time and effort into, and hard work into your own self-healing, you know, bettering yourself and self-improvement. And I do see you having, going through some sort of transformation. This person who left you out, this person who abandoned you, they won't recognize you after this this transformation there is this energy of you working not only on your physical and your 3d body this is also spiritual work you're actually doing the healing work there is a transformation energy here and i do see that whatever the situation was you learned a lot from it so it was a blessing in disguise it may have been very painful but i'm seeing you utilizing that power you know making using it to get better not better and with that hermit card i do see that things in the situation they may not have been fair but i do see you um using that to your advantage and working on yourself and developing yourself and um that eight of pentacles is really um putting in individual care and dedication not taking um shortcuts so you're taking you're doing things at your own pace you're doing it your own way and ultimately i'm seeing you transforming and realizing your spiritual gifts and abilities as well this is um, a major transformation here for you you're glowing you're coming out with um, a higher knowledge so 
this um, situation here with this ten of swords and five of pentacles may have been the catalyzing process to some sort of spiritual awakening for you and i do see you are really um coming out on top here you know you're re you're recognizing and realizing your your resilience and this is very attractive pisces so i am seeing you know a lot of um, dedication and hard work and self introspection and um, reflection and um understanding yourself better here yeah, so that you can attract a better person i do see that you know there is cultivating self-love here as well so that's what i'm seeing for you pisces i hope you have a really really good day pisces bye pisces